This is my uh, remodeling uh, bathroom here, as you can see. Okay, and what's missing here is a paper toilet holder here. And this is the paper holder I would like to install, which is actually have two ends of here, a paper holder here, and screws and anchors. And I would like to install it here, in this place on the vanity here. You can see the vanity here. The vanity I would like to install, and I have already actually what I use, I put here a tape. Okay, it's a paint tape that you can actually buy from Home Depot or Lowe's. And this is a, this vanity is from wood, as you can see, it's a hawk wood. And the height from here to the floor here is exactly 26 inch, which is recommended by the industry. Okay, so what I did here, as you can see, I actually have a line here that you can see, which is a horizontal line. And the distance between here to here, it's exactly six inch. That is the paper length which means the paper holder is six and a quarter inch. So that's what I did here, you can see. So now I already drilled two holes here. Each one of them, it's actually three eighths of an inch. And I have to drill another two holes here, one here and one here, and then install the end of this paper holder. Let me show how I'm doing it. So this is the paper holder, as you can see, I have two holes. And what I'm doing here, I'm putting it here, where is the hole, and I'm going to actually mark it. Mark where is the other hole, and then I'm going to draw another horizontal line on the bottom and make another hole. Let me show you what I'm doing. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put it here. There is the hole. So just to make sure, I will take one of the screws and okay, I put the screw here and then I mark where I have to drill. I can remove it now and I can see that there is a place that I have to drill. Okay, so I can mark it. I'm going to drill it with 3 8 of an inch, exactly where I actually mark it. Now, using the level, I'm going to draw another line here, exactly in the center. And it has to be horizontal. So I'm taking the second handle, put it here, put the screw where is the hole that I drilled on. Okay? And then I'm going to mark exactly where I need to put. And as I can see, it's here. Take the drill, and I'm drilling another hole here. So I want to show from close proximity what's going on. So if you're going to look from close distance, you can see what I did here. I actually drew another line here between this hole and this hole. Okay, it's actually a horizontal line, so it's parallel to this line. And I make another two holes here. Each one of them is three eighths of an inch. So what I can do now, I can actually take this paper, tape paper, and just remove it. And you can see what's going on. It's almost clear, clean. 
The only thing now to have is just to put the anchor inside. So here I put the four anchors here. You can see you have to use anchor here because almost cabinet and vanity, this wood is not really oak. It's a composite wood, so you have to use anchor if you're going to screw, okay, to just a drill. Uh, if you're going to screw uh, a screw to it, okay, uh, it's not going to last for a long time, but with these uh, anchors, it will last for many years. So just remember it. So using a hammer, I can just slightly put inside, as you can see here. So they have to be flesh with the wood, remember. So here we finish it and let's actually continue. Here I manually just put the screw inside the anchor. Okay, and now I'm going to use these drills, okay, if you can look at it. I'm going to use it. That's one, and here's the second one. Let's make sure that one is closed. Now I'm taking this paper holder, put it in. And we have something working perfectly. That's it.